The Pittsford Central School District is under fire tonight for a fourth grade worksheet that contained false information about slavery. Kayla Green explains what happened, why school officials are apologizing, and how parents are responding. Parents tell me this isn't the first time this worksheet has been used locally. They say it was also used in Webster back in February, and the fact that this happened a second time is just insulting. Students in a fourth grade classroom in the Pittsford School District were given this worksheet in January, part of a lesson about slavery in colonial times. It says slaves agreed to work for colonists in exchange for a trip to America and prompts students to list slave jobs. Tiffany Porter is the founder of Being Black in the Burbs. You can't be teaching kids that black people um, came willingly to this country um, and that we were not forced. Um, and then like it was like we were indentured servants coming up here to work our way off of, you know, whatever debt we had. Um, that's, that's false. Superintendent of Schools Michael Pirro says in a statement that a parent brought this worksheet to the attention of district officials today. He says the district will reteach the topic, remove the worksheet from students' notebooks, and provide them with the correct information. Antonia Winter says a similar worksheet was handed out to her friend's child in a Webster classroom in February. The country pretty much was built on the backs of, of these enslaved people that were dragged here. So that narrative and that, that piece, um, kids need to understand like this is not the proper way that story should be told. The Webster District confirmed a similar worksheet was used and a spokesperson says it minimized the dehumanization that defines slavery. They say actions to address the situation are ongoing. These are some things that we want to call out and not in so people can stop doing it. Because if Webster had said something and spoke up more about it, then perhaps Pittsburgh could have saw and flagged it. Pittsburgh officials say this was used as part of one lesson by a first year teacher in only one classroom and in only one of the schools in the district. In Pittsburgh, Kayla Green, News 8. All right, Kayla, thank you. Superintendent Pirro says they have reached out to the families of children who were given that lesson. In his statement today, he said, quote, I would like to thank the parent who brought this to our attention. We've reached out to them in order to make a full apology for the use of this worksheet. We have also reached out to parents of the entire class to share this error and apologize for it.